Did some like did, what happened? I need a little context. I want a little context. All right, let's just see it. Let's just see it. Let's get into this. This looks interesting, I must say. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up, guys. Is this like some conspiracy stuff or like anything spooky? Like, should I? December should... 20th, 2015. Oh, man. A Japanese biking. What? Bro, is this something is that. It... Is this gonna keep me from going to sleep tonight? Is that, is that what's gonna happen? No, I don't need to put it in HD. Is this gonna keep me from going to sleep tonight? I need to know. It shouldn't, <laughs> hopefully. But y'all, y'all were talking about twentieth, two thousand fifteen. Y'all were December talking about 20th, Sonic EXE 2015. not being scary. A Japanese bike enthusiast heads into the Mi Prefecture mountains, riding for adventure. The heck. December twentieth, two thousand fifteen. A Japanese bike enthusiast heads into the Mi Prefecture mountains, riding for adventure and to test his newly tuned bike. What should be a fun ride into the hills takes an unexpected turn. As he takes a corner, oh, something catches his eye. On the side of the road, he pulls over and takes a photo of what he's found before continuing on with his journey. Five days later, the Sonic community is made aware of his discovery, and everyone mm. has the same question. Why is there a giant Sonic statue in the mountains of Japan? Wow. Gaming mysteries are curious and fascinating things. Most of the time, they're limited to either lost builds or cancelled games. But sometimes, hmm, on rare F. occasions, when the planets line up in the night sky, they break beyond just a piece of software and take a larger, more elaborate existence that can continue for years until finally solved. This is true. The Thanks to a Twitter bot. That's cool. Mystery. That's cool. Hand, sometimes the mystery can just die. But at the end of 2015, a new gaming mystery had been discovered. It started with a few photographs posted to Twitter, showing a giant... Bro, look, that's... This is so... This looks so eerie, right? This is so eerie. Like, what? Who would just leave this old, dusty Sonic statue behind? Like, oh my god. Oh, it just looks so... Like, abandoned. Sonic it's weird. Statue, hidden Again, somewhere eerie. in the mountains of Japan. And with this one image came many questions. Where was this statue? I'd imagine. How did it get out in the middle of nowhere? How long had it been there? And who owned it? Many active and predominant members of the Sonic community began to discuss the find. And some reached out to the biker who posted the picture with the hope of getting some answers. Sadly, since it had been nearly a week from when the biker had found the statue, he just couldn't remember the route he took, and he stopped answering mm. questions about the statue shortly after the initial first few questions were put towards him. But some fans were determined to find the statue. Yo. If this statue is found, or was found... Sonic, the Sonic community might be goaded, might just be goaded, I gotta early say. discoveries were quickly made that got a lot of fans excited that the location would be found sooner rather than later. The first big discovery was an old Japanese blog from 2009, which had a photo of the statue, and there was even a location what? listed. It was in the Mi Prefecture, which was the first big clue to its location. We now knew the region. But with the excitement that the region was discovered, came a harsh reality. Mm -hmm. The Mi Prefecture is massive. It has tons of small mountain roads, Ugh. meaning it could be a near impossible task Needle to in the haystack Google vibes. Street View in the hope of trying to find it, if indeed it was on there. But not undeterred, some fans believed that the region was likely Northern Nabari, based on the clue from the blog and the forest. He did a whole scavenger hunt. Photos. To the internet's undefeated. Thing, I even did my own little investigation. The biker who made the original tweet had did several other tweets on December 20th, 
chronicling his adventure, including the, his start and finish location, as well as several stops and a time Ooh. it took him to make the journey. And based on this information, yeah, you could track it like I that. was able to project What's a map of the area where he likely went to on his trip, which matched the location given by several other Sonic fans. At the time, Good fans experience. also agreed experiment. that if the location was indeed discovered, it would not be made publicly aware immediately. And there were some very good reasons for this, but it mainly came down to two issues. Security and legacy. Yeah. The statue I, I had no high-quality photographs taken of it, certainly not from every angle, meaning documenting the statue was of high priority. Fans wanted to have some legacy of this statue, some record that it existed in decent quality images or even video. And the second reason was the risk of theft or vandalism. In the past, abandoned theme parks and mm. even gaming venues have often been the victim of theft and vandalism. And if a statue was That's near a high bad. population area at. with good transport links, there was a very real risk of theft especially if there was little security uh. around it. And with the location being quickly narrowed down, fans were optimistic that the statue would indeed be found, and eventually the location could be revealed to everyone. Imagine if the statue turned into blood. Get your Sonic.exe vibes out of here. But things quickly ground to a halt. In <laughs> summer 2016, a new image oh, of the statue was posted gosh. online. But fans didn't notice until January 2017, no, over a year after the mystery first began, and history started Wait, to repeat. Wait, is the nose gone? Is the nose but gone? Fans didn't notice until January 2017, over a year after the mystery first began, and wow. history started to repeat itself. The user who posted the photo couldn't remember the location, mm. other than it was somewhere in the mountains. And the trail went cold again. For over a year, there were no further developments. Bro, is there is the nose gone? I can And it seemed like this mystery was dead in its tracks. And then, on March 29th, 2018, the search was finally over. Gosh! A user on the Sonic Stadium forums posted a Google Street View screenshot of the statue. Over two years after it was originally discovered, the what? statue had at last been found. But as per the agreement made two years prior, the exact location was only shared with a handful of people. The only clues given to its location was a nearby town that was within a 30-minute driving distance from the Kindali University Technical College mm. located in Nabari. Meaning, if anyone was willing to go find it, they would at least have to get within half an hour of the nearest populated area. Dang. And I appointed myself to be <laughs> one of the points... Would y'all would would make that commute from, like, the populated town... Just go, like, in all different directions between 15 to, to 30 minutes? Shoot, that that sound, that sound doesn't sound like much, but that's that could take a while, man. That's dedication right people there. people wanted to find it. Despite the level of interest, for over a year period, only two people approached me. <laughs> Y'all saying no. <laughs> but one of the Dang, it's all, oh, one able person, to make yes. trip for another year. The nose the is gone, isn't simply it? simply stopped contact before I could give them the location. And as time went on, it seemed that interest in the statue and the mystery had all but dried up. Mm. There was, however, one small key point of interest which solved one of the many mysteries behind the statue. In September 2000... What? Oh! Not on a cliffhanger! I see yeah, what you did it's there. Big, but it's potential. Okay. Nah, I see you. I see you out here. I see you out here. In 2008, Twitter user DaEgg123 noticed that a Japanese TV advert for, for a Sega World Arcade located in Kodoma contained a clip of a very familiar statue. It was the statue from the mountains. The original oh location gosh. of the statue had finally been discovered. The statue was originally part of an interior display at one of the many Sega World Parks located around Japan. 
and so is it the far, same one though this is the only or a replica statue that's been discovered wow. prior to its removal and whilst Kodoma still has a Sega world in the area it's either not the same venue or the venue has been completely redesigned with 2019 now a month old would anyone ever venture into the mountains to find the statue? With so many unanswered questions, it seemed that this statue could potentially become lost or just remain a mystery forever. But then, the heck? on the 31st huh? of January, 2019... That's my birthday. Okay, let, what's I up? I was contacted by someone named Nathan Gill, who claimed to be in the area of the statue, who would be willing to go find it on February 2nd, only two days away so after some conversation i gave him the location and a day wow. later he sent me this what yo that's a madman right there he went and and go he went and found it oh my gosh that's scary it's okay scary what you're seeing is the first video of the statue in around 10 to 15 years. That's scary. So, so eerie. Ah. I'm Nathan, you're trolling. The statue is mostly intact, however, it has sadly sustained damage over the years it's yeah. been on the mountain. Yeah. Sonic's nose is missing, yep. despite it clearly being there in the blog image from nearly 10 oh, years so ago. Oh, so it was there. Okay. That might... Do, do y'all think that's vandalism or just natural, like, I don't know, decay or whatever? I think that's vandalism. How do you, like, take the nose, like, all the way off? I don't know, man. Suggesting I think it got vandalized. Broken off, broken off yeah. Worn away due to time. Nah, that thing got broken the off. The paint has also lost a lot of its color, and in some places, it's completely worn away. Mm. And parts of the statue are also showing signs of physical damage, with the arm showing a clear crack in it. Ooh. I think this, this makes me think about, like, how... I think, like, I read somewhere that, like, in, what, 20 years, like... The remains of Titanic underwater will, like, be completely eaten away by, like, what, crabs and stuff? That's just, it's just stuff like that. It's, like, it's sad to think about, like, you know, historical artifacts just decaying away. No one can react that, reach that high. Okay, yeah, I guess you're right. And I guess if that was, the, they would have taken the whole thing, maybe? I don't know. That is, yeah, that would be vandalism. I don't, and what would you do with a hedgehog nose? The nose of a hedgehog statue. I don't know. The yeah, maybe it's natural. The of Sonic's shoes are also missing. And even the supports mm. which hold it in place are showing signs of no. wear. No! It's not beyond it saving, fall. but it really does need urgent care and attention. Oh, man. Despite all the bad signs, it's surprising how intact the statue is. All things considered, it seems that the thick forest behind it has protected it from most of the elements in the 10 to 15 years it's been in this location. Unlike the recently discovered Sega World Sydney statue, Ugh. which has suffered a much Ugh. worse fate. During Nathan's expedition I to like find worse the statue, than Sonic Forces. he also managed to speak to a local resident about it and answered a few questions about the statue and its history. In terms of how long the statue has been in the area, I want to know. I, I, I want to know how it got there, though. Why is it here? It was a part of like a, a theme park, right? Why is it here, of all places? Why isn't it in storage or something or whatever? It was placed there around. Yeah, 10 typhoon or and stuff. That this could be dangerous for it. And when asked about who owns the Why statue, here? the man pointed down the road towards a series of farmhouses and industrial buildings and said it was purchased by a group related to those industries and then gifted to the local area. Another interesting note is that the area where the statue is on is quite prone to snowfall and sometimes oh. the road itself gets covered in quite a few inches of snow making it look like Sonic is actually snowboarding oh, that's down funny. the streets. That's on the ice cap vibes. With this newly revealed information, 
Most of the mystery surrounding okay. the statue were finally being solved. We now know that the statue has been in the mountains for at least 10 to 15 years, that it's owned by a local group of farmers and industrialists mm. who apparently gifted the statue to the local area. Wow. And it was originally located in a Sega World Park at Kodoma. And with all this information in mind, That's crazy. we can now make a very educated guess as to how the statue got to this location. Given <laughs> Sonic Road the original there. Sega World in Kodoma is either no more or has radically been redesigned, it would seem that most of the major interior assets were auctioned off. Much like the case with many theme parks that closed down, lots of the assets that are in there tend to get auctioned off to interested parties. And it's very likely, due to the location of where this statue now is, that local businesses got together and decided to buy the statue and gift it to the local area. But since then, it's just been left. Right, with like what are they doing with it? Or treatment yeah. to the integrity of it. What are they doing with so, it? So, now comes the big question, which I'm sure you all want to know. Where exactly is this statue? <laughs> He's not going to tell us. Well, here it is. No, this you're not. This is the exact location of oh! the statue as it appears on Google Maps. Details all right, guys. You, we're, we're all... We're, we have to... This will be... This is where my first ever meetup will be. Nah, I'm, I'm capping. That's cap. That's cap. But, yo, imagine. We all just met up in front of this statue to, you know, you know, it's a, they made, it, made a little vlog series out of it. That would be tough. I've all, I've I do want to go to Japan at some point. Uh, what if this could be one of my potential stops? Hmm, that would be interesting. I don't think I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Hopefully, you know, now that he's shared the location, no vandalism has happened. How you can find it yourself are in the video description. Dang. But what's amazing is that fans got very close to the location three years ago. If you compare the original map from that time to where it actually is. So some of you may want to know, why have I now made the location public? Well, right. originally I was very concerned about potential theft and vandalism before fans got the chance to document the statue. And whilst I still think that theft and vandalism is a very real concern, given the very remote location of the statue and the fact it's not easy to get to, this seems like a very unlikely thing that can happen. Another reason, though, is when I saw the new images which were taken a few days ago, I was quite shocked at how badly the statue had deteriorated, especially from the original photos that the biker took three years ago. It's very close to the point where it's going to deteriorate into a state where it can't be saved. And I want this video to catch the attention of someone who's in a position to take ownership and care of it mm. be it the group who bought the statue originally or some kind of local authority because it would be a huge shame if this statue just crumbles beyond repair and is lost forever okay good point check good out point. the sega world sydney statue yeah. for a comparison we can't let that happen can happen when something isn't looked after so after three years the mystery of this statue is finally solved we now know its location, we know where it was originally, and we have a very good idea how it ended up in the mountains. There is, though, one final mystery that we still don't have the answer to. Hit me. Just what happened to his nose? <laughs> See you next time. Facts. Facts, bro. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Yo! Y'all got it. I want to look, look look at more stuff like this. Oh, that was nice. Links to both can be found in the video description. If you'd like to help support Yo, the channel, that, why not uh, by me? the way, you know, support the boy. Support that boy. Bad Mick, bad Nick mechanic. Yo, that was nice, man. So interesting. I don't know if I would <laughs> I don't know if I see myself going there. If I do find myself in Japan at some point, Hopefully, you know, this video will pop in my mind again, and I'll, I'll possibly consider it. I don't know. It, eh, we'll see. But anyways. Oh.